Hi, in this demo, we would inspect a volume created by a cluster and then mount it locally on the system. A cluster volume named demo underscore vol1 has been created using two machines, server1 and server2. We can look at more info about the volume with the info command. It is a distributed volume and has been created using slash mnt brick1 and slash mnt brick2 on server1 and server2 respectively. Let's create a directory and then mount the cluster volume on that. With minus T option to the mount command, we can specify the file system type which you want to mount. To mount the cluster volume, we need to give one of the server's name and the volume name. And then we can specify the local mount point. So we have mounted a cluster volume on server 1 itself. With df command, we can look at this free space. The total size of the demo underscore vol1 is 75 GB. The root disk size on the system is 38 GB. To create a cluster volume, generally we have a separate partition and then use it as a brick to create the volume. But in this case, we have used a directory on root file system as a brick. Because we are using two similar systems of the same type, we see total size of the volume as 75 GB. Now let's create two files on the mounted volume. So we have created two files on the mounted volume. Now let's go and check the content in the backend, which means slash mnt brick one on the server one and see if the files are there. Files are not in this server. Let's log into the other server and see if the files are there. On server 2, we have used slash mnt slash brick 2 as one of the brick for the volume. And as expected, file 1 and file 2 are in slash mnt slash brick 2. As we had created a distributed cluster volume, files would reside on any one of the server. With different volume type, we can have a different strategy of file distribution. Here we had used native clusterfs file system type to mount the volume. We can choose different mount strategy like NFS, Samba, depending on our requirement. So in this demo, we have seen how we can mount a cluster volume and look at the file inside there.